wouldn't believe me if I told you. But you found what you needed. I did. Then all that remains is to find Corythius before he comes to us. We've been looking for his base since all this began, with no success. His dragon must come and go from somewhere. Oh, what about the Deep Roads? We could send word to Orzammar, a higher envoys too. He did that? But why? Either I close the breach again, or it swallows the world. But that's madness. Wouldn't it kill him as well? Inquisitor, we have no forces to send with you. We must wait for them to return from the Arbor Wilds. Just as Corypheus expects, I suppose. Is your maker now call him call down his wrath upon me you cannot for he does not exist i am corypheus i shall deliver you from this lie in which you linger bow before your new god and be spared never And for all, which of us is worthy of godhood? You're not proving anything by talking. Dragon, how clever of you. It will avail you nothing. You will fall as a warning to those who oppose my divine will. Feel my wrath. I will 
will destroy you where you stand. Your blood is engorged with decay. Your race is not a race. It is a mistake. you from the very heavens. for this outrage.
fear you from the very end. Is this ragged maid another ally? One more rat has emerged from the garbage. I shall fear you from the very heavens. I shall sear you from the very heavens. you from the very heavens. If you desire death, you shall have it.
Let the skies boil! Let the world be rent asunder! Grant me power to finish this last right! of the Golden City, cross the ages. Do not, ancient ones, I beseech you. If you exist, if you ever truly existed, aid me now. Solus, the orb. Corypheus is dead. That's the important thing. Yet so much has been lost. Inquisitor, are you alive? Then it's over. How lovely. And you survive. Thank the Maker. And the sky is healed, healthy, whole. There's just that left to remember. Looks that way. What do we do now? Go back to Skyhold.
A moment, my lord. My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. It's not such a mystery. We weren't on the best of terms. True. Though I still find it peculiar. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. The fighting's over. Why do they want to meet me now? <laughs> You're joking, yes? They wish to bask in the glory of your victory, hoping that some of it will rub off on them. Everyone knows Gaspard owes you his throne. The greatest empire in Thedas is at your beck and call. A thousand problems remain, and your opinion will be sought on each one, whether you wish to give it or not. <laughs> oh, now they're lining up to meet me. Such is the way of things. Previously, you were an upstart, a fearsome canary in charge of rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature, the ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. Am I imagining it, or do we have a moment to breathe? Definitely your imagination. The party, the cake, it's all an elaborate dream. <laughs> Maker knows I could use the sleep. You should hear the stories they're telling in the barracks. The pride in their voices. Some of the soldiers have requested leave to return home, but many would follow us still. You are proof that the Inquisition has made a difference and that we will continue to do so. That's why we're having this fancy party. Celebrate, Commander. You've earned it. I should be thanking you. You gave me a chance to... Uh, to prove myself. In your place, I'm not sure I would have done the same. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. Enjoy the party, Inquisitor. Now that you've saved the world, what's next? Hoping to put it all back together? Someone has to fix things. Might as well be me. If anyone can do it, you can. If you ever need my help, you know where to find me. I'll be ready. I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. What do you think of... This shit is weird, the Inquisitor Adar story. It's a working title. Maybe you should keep working. I'll leave the title for last. Naming things is always the worst. I still haven't decided if I should do this book. As if anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention I'll have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the free marches as soon as I get back. You should write the book. I'll see what I can do once I get home. I'm not leaving for a while yet, though. We'll have to get in at least one game of Wicked Grace before I go. Curly needs to win back some of his dignity. So, demons, dragons, giant asshole vint on a big magic rock. You don't let it get dull, boss. Good stuff. How is that good in any way, Bull? We all walked away. Chantry folk are picking up what's left of Corypheus with a dustpan and a pastry scraper. It's weird. I joined the Inquisition under orders from the Ben Hasrath and stayed because Corypheus was an asshole. Now that it's done, I've got no orders. 
For the first time in my life, I can go wherever I want. Got anywhere in mind? If it's all the same with you, I'm pretty good right here. Anyway, the only place I'm going tonight is back for more drinks. To us being alive, and the bad guys not. Ah, Anan. So many people died. More still are hurting. They need help. It seems wrong to celebrate. But I want to. The part of me that's me needs to after all this. The servants are drinking. Some of them are drinking while lying down. <laughs> the servants are known to do that, yes. I don't think it was about the drink. I think it was something else. Hmm. What happens next? Where do we go? It'll be interesting to see what comes next. Yes. Because of you. Thank you for letting me stay. Finally got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. It's the least Andraste's Herald deserves for making things normal again. Except for, you know, everything ever again. I mean, is this for us or for her? Or, you know, him? Because I was there and I still don't know what's real. What do you think, Sarah? Like you said, you were there. I think... I think that if the Maker was helping, it shouldn't have been so frigging hard. Seems like the only thing we can count on is other people. Still some things to do yet, right? Because I'm in no hurry to go back to... Val Royale. That's where I was. You mind if people still stay around? Or whatever? This is home, if you'll have it. <laughs> Shut it, you! I cry, I'm punching everyone. All right, enough of that. Is this a party or what? Raise them for winning! Big freaking heroes, Inquisitor. All of us. Ugh, I should never have hired new caterers so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry, nothing's quite as it should be. Oh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. The drinks are fine. It's been a wonderful evening. I hope you're not just saying that. You're not, are you? What a disaster. The money was late, the invitation to our guests barely went out at all, and... And... It was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Tedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. Are you descending into open boasting, Lady Montelier? I can scarcely think of a better time. Truly, we will never forget those we lost. But for tonight, to victory. Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the Petit Four. I love tiny cakes, and there are so many. Which should I try first? I would avoid the dark ones topped with gold dust. Deep mushroom and anise. An awful combination, but it's quite popular in Val Royale. I believe they call it the exquisite misery. Ole. Why did we save her again? To you, Inquisitor, for all you've done. I can't believe it's over. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry? Build the Inquisition from nothing, defeat a creature that would be a god. And yet here we are, celebrating. What's important is that you're here with me. There was a moment after the orb exploded. I thought for certain you were dead. I prayed, don't take him from me, not after all we've been through. And then I saw you through the smoke. Sometimes the Maker is kind. I have news from the sequester. 
I believe the Chantry intends to name me Divine very soon. If that happens, I have decided to accept. I wanted you to know. It hasn't happened yet. That's true. We still have time. I think back to how we first met. And here you stand. You are the Inquisitor. A symbol of hope and change to so many. And you are the man I love. How did that happen, I wonder? Know that I will always stand with you. So much to do, my dear. Elections for Grand Enchanter must be held, and many of the circles lack even interim First Enchanters. It will take time, and it may not be possible to restore the history that was lost, but we will reinstate the circles. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. As a matter of fact, I am. This is all for you, darling. Enjoy yourself. You've earned it. Go mingle. The night is still young. A moment before you go. There's something else I wanted to say. You know the crisis is over, right? What's this about? Everything is about to change. I could be named Divine any day now. You will be pulled in a hundred different directions. Cassandra. No, it's fine. I simply wanted to steal a moment while I still can. It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orlay, where Gaspar has ascended to the Golden Throne. He rules unopposed. Each noble house that rises up against him soon realizes it has made its last mistake. He settles disputes with Ferelden, freeing the Orlesian armies to fortify the northern Tevinter borders. His victories are many. Strength and stability are restored to Orlay. For now, Sadly, Gaspar soon forgot his gratitude towards the Inquisition. Icy receptions meet the Inquisition inside the Imperial Court, where most prefer that Orle bow to no one, not even heroes. Thus, many believe that when the next challenge to the Usurper comes, Gaspar will stand on his own. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Hawk is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within, or something? far worse. 
One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Cassandra as successor to the Sunburst throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she immediately enacts reform, a new Templar order, and a new circle of Magi. The Seekers of Truth are rededicated to their purpose of protecting the innocent. A proclamation of support for the Inquisition is issued, recognizing its service to all of Thedas. Despite her popularity, the new Divine's reforms are seen by some as going too far. A new sect arises, demanding a return to the status quo on threat of war. With the Inquisitor's assistance, negotiations end peacefully and few concessions are made. Strength and unity within the Chantry are restored in the months following. A golden age, if it can last. Those Templars of the Inquisition who were recruited at Theron Fall Redoubt are left with a choice. Many follow in the footsteps of Commander Cullen, going through the slow and agonizing process of Lyrium withdrawal. When the Divine reforms the Templar Order, they elect to remain with the Inquisition under Cullen's command. And what of the Inquisition itself? Its web of influence is felt in every hall. Through diplomacy and the trading of favors, it has gathered the power to shake kingdoms. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, he has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready.